Now, the U.S. Supreme Court has struck down a federal ban on bump stocks. The devices are used to modify semi-automatic rifles into weapons that can fire hundreds of rounds a minute. Now, they were banned after a mass shooting in 2017 when 58 people were killed at a music festival in Las Vegas. Former President Trump approved the ban, saying bump stocks convert lethal, legal weapons, that is, into illegal machines. Gun control groups criticized the court's 6-3 to three ruling. The organization Brady United said, quote, weapons of war should have no place in our communities. Cheryl Feldman is the director of constitutional litigation at Brady United, and she joins us now. Uh, good to have you. As we try and figure out what this decision means going forward, I want to get your reaction to the decision, and, and was it what you expected? Yeah, so I think we're very disappointed at Brady with this decision. Um, the Supreme Court used a very technical analysis of the law to prevent um, the um, ATF, which you know regulates guns in the United States, from being able to enforce something that's both common sense and is what Congress had already intended to do and provided for almost 90 years ago, which is to keep machine guns out of civilian hands in this country. And yet it was that technicality, the fact that they determined that the ATF did not have the authority to actually ban uh, these kinds of weapons being turned into machine guns. I, I want to repeat, and I know we've told our viewers this before, remember the Las Vegas shooting, a thousand rounds in 11 minutes. It's incredible to think about that. So many Americans can and do believe that that just shouldn't be allowed. And yet the laws do not reflect most of American opinion. Where to from here? Because there was the suggestion uh, in this opinion that it, that it is right over to you, Congress. Yeah, so first of all, you know, that's, that's exactly right about what happened in Las Vegas. The reality is that Bump stocks serve one purpose, and that is to maximize lethality. Um, and they really have no place in our communities. Um, but, but you're right that Congress can act now, and we're calling on Congress to act now. Um, there is a, a House bill closing the bump stock loophole, um, and Congress should go ahead and pass that legislation. A couple of things here. Do you have any hope that they will? In fact, this was a, a Trump-era order, right? The, the Trump administration agreed that this, these things should be banned. And also, we should say, is it effective now that some states actually ban these? Yeah, so um, it's hard to know what Congress will do, of course. Um, I would note that there is uh, a lot of influence of the gun lobby here. You know, as you said, this was originally a Trump administration rule, and yet uh, Republicans seem to be backing away from it. Um, uh, as to state laws, it really depends on the state law and whether the the law is tracked to what ATF is doing or whether it's a separate ban. So where do you go from here? You know, we've had so many depressing anniversaries. I mean, today, they, they in Parkland, they were just trying to get, really trying to start a new page um, in that school. Everyone will remember that dispiriting uh, high school shooting. You had graduating from high school, those children from Sandy Hook, and yet today we have this ruling. So to put it in perspective, do you feel you can move forward with more effective gun legislation? Because in writing for the dissent, um, Justice uh, Sonia Sotomayor, sh she said it plainly, right? If it looks like a duck and it walks like a duck, it's a duck, meaning it's a machine gun. It should be off the streets. Yes, yes. And we completely agree with her dissent. You know, this was not a decision um, that the majority of the court had to make. Um, but there is a way forward. You know, Congress can act, but also uh, voters at the polls this fall can put people in Congress um, and in the presidency who will listen to what most people in the United States want, and that's gun violence prevention laws. We will certainly see if this does end up being an issue in this upcoming election. Sheriff Feldman, appreciate it. Thanks.